Today, I'm going to introduce uh, Mio Yamato-san. Uh, Mio Yamato-san was born in Shiga, Japan, and uh, currently uh, lived in Tokyo, uh, Kyoto. And Yamato-san received MFA in Contemporary Art from Kyoto University of Art and Design. Mio-san has won several art prizes in Japan, and not only Japan, but also other countries. Mio has devoted herself to a series of called repetition, the works of which are made by the repetition of her simple body actions, such as an accumulation of dots with oil or pile of lines, with ink all by hands. Yamato-san has embodied a concept of the time's flow in canvas, and that creates unforeseen but still organic and the familiar images on the surface as a result. Through the process, Yamato-san tries to visualize sublime rules and systems of nature, like the tree forms its own growth during gradually through the organic process. So please enjoy Yamato-san's presentation. Thank you. I'm very honored to have this opportunity uh, to present myself, all of you. First of all, I'd like to thank you, Kamala san kind inter introduction, and Asia Society Japan, and everyone who joined webinar this morning. Today, I'm going to introduce myself and talk about my experience of residency program I've joined at Foundation Kasawabi in Mexico. So let me introduce my art project. This is uh, an art project for graduation in 2015. The title is Red Dot. I put a lot of tiny dot on canvas with red oil pigment. Let me explain how to make it done. The process of red dot series is quite simple, but has important meaning for me. Now you can see how it goes on the next video, this video. First, I drew a line with dot on the top side of the canvas. Then I succeeded the line and continue drawing by one by one. This process is inspired by a law of nature, like how the plants grow. They grow up adapting themselves to their surroundings. So their forms, uh, shapes are uh, interacting with each other. I try to do this process through my hand and body. <coughs> so, uh, now I'd like to talk about my background and how I got reached to this concept. I was born in Shiga Prefecture, west side of Japan, and the countryside. My grandparents are orchid farmer there. They grow mostly orchid originality from South America, especially Catorea. It is one of the largest and prettiest of the glamorous orchid. They need a lot of water, sunshine, nutrition, and have to take care of the popular criminate condition, spending many times and effort. They bloom beautifully. In the criminate in Shiga is completely different from South America. We need to keep trading them very carefully. When I was at university, I want to start an art project inspired by the greenhouse. I started to research on the most first. It was growing over there because the greenhouse has kept the same environment suitable for them for 50 years. 
When you get close to the moss, you can see that the moss is a combination of small green grains. It is a pretty simple and primitive kind of plant. At that time, I felt they think a lot to survive and know how to live with their surroundings together. It made me happen to think how I can pay my respect to them. And that is the beginning of the concept of the red dot. Two years ago, I've done an art project with Red Dot series as an installation work in Okinawa, Japan. It was for the entrance space of Hotel Anterium Naha. This is the small dot painted directly on the wall. I researched the local native, native, local native forest and was inspired by their adapted plant life. Uh, accumulating the destiny dot with vivid red paint, I can archive delicate expression even in monochrome. The small dot are uh, mixed with the white of the background reflected in ice, changing a gentle atmosphere. It is distance from the which the viewer looks at the work that gives it very different impression. I hope you visit and see my artwork there someday when we can travel easily as it used to be. Let me introduce the other series. It named Black Line. Uh, this is one. I draw lines all by hands, one by one. Uh, the concept is similar to the red dot. Doing process of a law of nature with my own body. This series is inspired by a gross ring of trees and geographic stratum. People react in many ways. Some people say it looks control, control lines and uh, others say different image. I'm glad to listen to their point of view since I reflect, I exper reflect their experience <coughs> and emotional senses as great abstract masterpiece bring our, our viewers mirror of mind. In both of these series, I pay attention to the balance between that I can control and I cannot in this process. Through so many things we have experienced in this couple of years, as you know, unpredictable chaos exists along with order and harmony in this world. I just want to make this reality visualized and formed through my own body. My next challenge is to do a project that goes beyond my body perspective and captured our body perspectives. Let me introduce the other series. It is named, uh, sorry, next I'm going to explain another series, breath, uh, painting with the power of the my breath. Please watch the video shows how to paint this work. First, I make the paint liquid. Then I blow a bubble with it. The force of the circulation transform it into a thin film. Let pigment grains flow over the surface and settle on the canvas. My blessing movement is uh, transform into visible f from by the paint. I call it a trace of breath. The time is a key concept of this project. In our world, time is always flowing in one direction. 
No two moments are the same. We live in a constant state of flux. Also, we can say uh, we are constantly moving toward to this. I won't focus on the fact that I am indeed arrived in this moment. Next, I'm going to talk about residency program in Mexico. I was invited by Foundation Kasawabi this spring. Kasawabi is located the Pacific coast from the Puerto Escondido or Haka, between mountain and the sea. The building has been designed by Japanese architect Tadao Ando and the director of Mexican artist Bosco Sodi. This is my first ex Sorry. <coughs> this is my first experience with joining a residency program and also abroad just by myself. I was a bit nervous before the program, but I had a very I had a really good time and experience there by their great support. Foundation Kasawabi is a non profit civil association that fosters the exchange between contemporary art and local communities. This name originates from the Japanese philosophy of wabi-sabi. So now I talk about their location and architecture with photo and videos. This is the main building of the foundation designed Japanese architect Tadao Ando. The construction looks directly at the Pacific Ocean coastline with the impressive beach. The 3.6 meter high walls are uh, topped by a palapa roof, a traditional architectural style of the region which protect us from the strong sun and rain during the rainy season. We ate together three times in a day at the place. This uh, with residency artist and team member of Kasawabi. All meals were cooked by a staff member of leaves close to this area. We took that talk a lot over a good meal about the story of each project, hometown, also uh, about the culture of Mexico and Puerto Escondido. It was a good time to learn more about their culture. This is a view of the garden. The large 27 hectare garden is being developed as a botanical garden. The purpose of the project is com to conserve native plants and uh, promote environment education for children. It was designed by architect Alberto Calach. This is a clay pavilion. Clay terracotta is the traditional material of this region. <coughs> the pieces, uh, the place is local children to learn about clay. This is a picture of me and children doing clay workshop for community project. This is Chicken Cooper, designed Japanese architect. Kengo Kuma. The structure, is, uh, the structure is built following the traditional Japanese technique. It is inspired by Japanese housing apartment. The eggs come from here. As, as well as milk from the goat and cows, cows raised in cassawabi, and a wide variety of honey this is used by the foundation and the kitchen of the uh, Hotel Escondido as part of the sustainability program. A variety of art uh, works can be found at Kasawabi. 
This is a land art installation by Boscosori. Title is Atlantis. This is first time I saw land art with my own eyes. I felt as if my senses were opening up to the great ground. I was inspired to capture this feeling in the work of my community project. This is a uh, Boscos studio. It is so beautiful studio. Uh, this work is uh, this is work by Tadao and Observatory. The huge sky is cut off by the architectural space. Our senses have the effect of our allowing us to focus carefully observe the sky. I could see two shooting stars at night this place. I'd like to introduce more kasawabi, but I will skip this because I we've got limited time. Kasawabi has tours every day. If I if you have a chance, please visit there. Before the end, I'd like to talk about my community project at Kasawabi as my last speech today. This project is inspired by our abundant nature and the people who live within it. I worked a project consi consisting of three sections with children learning music in the community of Las Negras. Before talking about the main part, I'd like to talk about other artists and designers who joined the same residency program at the same time. On the far left, on the far left is Michel, a product designer from Switzerland. Now he has an office in Portugal and works in various countries in Europe. He came to Kasawabi after being recommended by the Swiss Government Design Award. When I was struggling with the structure of, of my work, uh, he gave me good advice and helped me to complete my work. He also sometimes dived into the ocean as a hobby and catch a big fish. Oh, sorry. Big fish. And we could eat fish uh, as sashimi. And <laughs> he loves Japanese food. So I and he enjoyed cooking together on our holidays. And second from, uh, second from the left is Monica, an artist from Colombia. She researches the area and creates original maps. She is a genius at gathering interesting information, and her maps, completed from unique perspective, are fantastic. When the residency began, I hardly understand the language. However, Monica taught me important information in, in easy English until I got. She also taught me easy Spanish. Every day we start the day we talking with greeting to each other <laughs> when breakfast Buenos dias uh, señorita Monica good to see how are you and uh, what are you planning to do today a uh, good start of the day every day The man in the middle is Felix he is a video and sound artist and has passed participated residences and projects all over the world. He is very hard working and starts working every day at around 7 p.m. 7 a.m. He influences me a lot because he is very effective and keeps producing results. At the same time, he is a very kind person. He lent me his camera and professional audio equipment. So during my stay, I was able to try 
new means of expression for me, such as photography and video. He has also recorded an archive of my community project, which you will see later. He is in the Arizona desert right now. Uh, he's playing, uh, playing his cello with the windmill. We need to check out his Instagram story. Joel is the far light. He is an American sculptor with a studio in LA. He loves to talk and has many stories to tell me and everyone else. He was, ac he was active in New York in the late 70s and 80s and had also exhibition at MoMA when he was 27 years old. It was very interesting because he, he talked about what I had learned in contemporary art history as a person who was a party to it. We spend a lot of time until six weeks and become a good friend. We fought sometimes, but we are able to discuss and reconcile. We, uh, we still keep in touch even after the residency is over. I am very happy to have friends all over the world. Let, let me now introduce my project, which consists of three sections. Uh, section one, we, the children of Las Negras, and I exploded Kasawabi with pencil and small sketchbooks. When children find a motif that interests interest them, they quickly, they quickly look carefully at the features of the shape, emphasize, and draw it to their sketchbook. I hope that through this session, the children would have fun while discovering their own interest in and concerned and getting to know themselves. We enjoyed communication that transcended languages. Then session two. During this session, we create two types of small sculpture in the clay pavilion. Before this session, we went to stock up the own clay for my project. We drove an abundant load deep into a coconut forest. There was a workshop uh, where people were using the clay to make bullocks. The people showed a hut-like structure be being uh, put together to the first brick. Mm. It's so fantastic that when I was flashing along down there, they brought me up, showed me what was going on. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, photo is different. On the uh, side of this structure, they put a lot of dried coconuts. They used them as a fruit bomb, the brick at once. Uh, we got a clay from this place. It was not the clay I knew. It was uh, just soil. I had only known clay was brick as product. However, on these days, I learned that clay is something we receive from the earth and bricks are found by human hands. This was a valuable exp exp experience. Um, let me in return to the project. Uh, the sculpture one is the leaf shaped. In the session just mentioned, we also observed plants. Uh, based their impressions, the children created their own leaves shapes by hands. No one form is the same. 
Uh, I find all forms very endearing. We decided to install their small sculpture, uh, these small sculpture in the tree during our next session to complete the work with the environment. I named this work Songs from Las Negras. <coughs> the other is a sculpture in the shape of a flower. It makes a small sound like bell baking clay, like this. The motif is based on the bougainvillea plants. I saw many these flowers in this town. It seems to be loved by many people in this area. The bright colors are beautiful as strong sunshine in this area and they and the way the flower moves so slowly gives me energy. We observed the bougainvillea and made flower bell sculpture consisting of three pieces and inside three small bells. When these assemble the breaking, baking, they make a small sound. In the next section, we decided to go to the town where the children live and install these pieces too. The last one, we went to Las Negras where the children live. It has the ocean, mangrove, lagoon, and hills. The hilltop has a great viewer view and there is always pleasant breeze blowing from the ocean. We attached our small numberless sculpture to the wood here to complete the, the artwork. The leaf sculpture is mounted on this wahe tree. This tree and 150 leaves made by the children, this is a work that coexists with the environment. A beautiful work of art was completed. Next is a small bell sculpture. We, crossed, we chose the tree that grows in the meeting house which is a very nice tree that they decided to use it as base for the bell sculpture. This tree is always brewing in the wind from the sea. We attached 250 flowers bells to this tree. They become a musical instrument that played whispered music in the present sea breeze. The sound is so the sound is very small, but when all two hundred fifty bells rang, we could feel symphony with the wind. Our works are singing with the sea breeze. I named title of this work is Singing Soil. At last, I'd like everyone to listen to Singing Soil. I recorded this movie and sound at Kasawabi. This tree, this tree, names of Amor de Torres, English name is Tree of Land. The leaf shaped the, like a heart. I like this tree. I'm moving with sea breeze and uh, singing, uh, a singing soil with uh, breeze moving.
Thank you all listening. It was a pleasure beginning here today. Thank you so much. Thank you, <coughs> Thank you very much, Mio san. It's very impressive and it's very moving stories. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, before, I'm, uh, before moving to uh, a question session uh, from the floor uh, or the online, I'd like to uh, have some take some questions from you. Uh, uh, why do you use a red dot? Uh, thank do you. you yes. Do you have any uh, plan to use other forms? Yes. In the future? Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Good question. And I think this color is good experience for the power of life. Uh, not only human, um, other life too. And I felt the strong energy of, sun, of the sunshine at Mexico. All the power of life is affected by the sun. And I saw the full moon night at Mexico. And that lights are so bright. We could see the shadow of us. I felt color was very clear blue. I'm also working on blue dot. And not use my, I not use many colors, but I uh, want to decide the color from the universal power. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. And one, one more question. Uh, your works have been uh, exhibited in the various world, various countries. Uh, what kind of feedback have you got uh, so far from your audience? Uh, thank you so much. Good question. Uh, yeah, audience. Uh, every time I surprise because uh, I uh, um, the audience uh, reaction is good. Every time I surprise because I difficult to explain to of my work. Uh, by uh, other language, but uh, they can feel what I want to explain. Um, it is, uh, I feel it is a power of art. And I want to uh, introduce this story. And I feel the different countries have different tastes. And for example, I show my work at France and the Swiss round. Uh, Black Line series seems to be uh, more popular. At the Australia and the Singapore, is Red Dot series seems to be more popular. At United States and Mexico, are both cities, are both cities. Uh, they are good for me because uh, they collect of my big size work even if the artist's name is not famous, uh, when they feel good. It is an important chance for early uh, career artists like me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Huh? Now let's move to uh, take some questions from the floor. What's your next project, Mio? Sorry. Next project. Uh, thank you so much. Um, my next pre project is joining uh, group exhibition at Atami uh, next Ju uh, July. And uh, in August, uh, group I will join group exhibition uh, at Kyoto. And uh, December, I will, uh, I ha I will have solo exhibition at Kyoto. And next March, I will have a uh, solo exhibition at the United States, uh, Connecticut. Um, will it be new work or work that you've already made? In August, group show at Kyoto and uh, solo <coughs> exhibition is new work. Uh, and what kind of work will it be? Uh, yes. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, group exhibition is a uh, new work, Red Line series and uh, bless, big breast painting, and uh, let dot series. And uh, December of my solo exhibition at Kyoto is, I planning now, but I, I'd like to 
uh, show new installation work uh, I inspired by residency program at Kasawabi. With do you have any new uh, projects or artwork related to the environment or nature? Uh, I hope so. Uh, but are you thinking of any now? Do you have any in mind? Uh, uh, yes, I, I want to create an artwork with environment. Uh -huh. And I'm now, now I'm planning and I want to um, propose that to the gallerist or curator. For for example, can you give us an example of what you're thinking to do with nature or environment? Ah, for example, uh, I uh, interested in uh, this prom, like a musical instrument by soil, soil by clay, and I, my, I want to create with many people like this, and this is a uh, motif is flower, but. Uh, many kind of plants I become inspired, like leaf and like a, um, many other shape and kind of shape, and yes, and I want to create with many people and connect to with environment at work. Thank you. Is it okay? <laughs> My accent. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Right. Thank you so much. I'm Glenn Fukushima. I live in Washington, D.C. and Tokyo, but um, I, uh, I'm from California, and I have a lot of interest in Mexico. So I'm interested in knowing uh, how did you get involved and engaged with Mexico, and uh, what is the, um, kind of the, uh, the themes that you're especially interested in with regard to uh, your current and future work with Mexico? Uh, this time, I, uh, I'm um, Mexican uh, Culture Foundation invite me, and by the art fair, I got a prize, a residency award prize, at art fair at Mexico City, and so I uh, stay. I will, I went to the Mexico City. Ah, Felipe Escondido and Mexico City. And uh, my tema, my uh, big tema is uh, how um, relationship with uh, human and peop uh, human and nature. Um, before Kasawabi, I try this tema of my own. Use only, uh, use my body and my sense. But I experience at Kasawabi uh, cooperate uh, and relationship with many people and create artwork together. And I want to uh, I want to do uh, next. I want to do create uh, with many people and. Uh, making good relations, relationship with each other. And I want to thinking uh, how to connect environment and a good nature, a great nature. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mia. Thank, Thank you, so you much. For, for being the Mexican in the room. <laughs> um, many Japanese artists yes. have been in Mexico and have been influenced by yeah. Mexico for years and years and years. Oh. So I'm happy to think yes. or to believe or wow. to wish mm -hmm. that you will be influenced by Mexico also. Um, Gracias. If, if anything, if anything. Mm -hmm. what was the one thing that amazed you, amazed you. or surprised you surprised or moved you mm -hmm. in Mexico? In Mexico, or, uh, yeah. yeah, I stayed uh, Puerto Escondido, and I saw many culture and talked to many people who live in there. Um, there are so many small communities, and um, for example, there is grandfather and grandparents are not sometimes not speak Spanish. Uh, their own old. Uh, old 
languages, and I feel so different culture. Uh, um, they live with uh, the good, great nature with their uh, they, with them, um, and I know the another culture. <laughs> I can learn uh, another culture there, and uh, it is so surprised. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. <laughs> ah, and uh, Mexican people, every Mexican people is so kind and warm to me. It is so surprised and so very glad <laughs> to me. The same. Thank you. Hi, hello, I'm uh, Jacques Magnon from uh, Asia Society. Um, up, bef up until Mexico, there was kind of consistency in your work. So it was like painting in red or blue or dots or line. Um, but what you came up, the work you created in Mexico is very different from what you have done before. And I was wondering how mm -hmm. difficult it was for you to... Uh, yes to come up with something very different, not just a small step, but something different. Yes, uh, this, yeah, exactly. This is so difficult for me. But uh, I, yeah, um, I tried the community project first time at Mexico. <laughs> and before Kasawabi, I have no idea how to, <laughs> how to uh, work community with community of, of my work but I went to go there and research one week uh, nature and uh, people who live in there and talk many art many, talk a lot artist and uh, manager of foundation and I so I can get uh, I can get a inspiration of my community project yeah and I think uh, before Kasawabi and Kasawabi the work is so different but uh, the same the based concept is the same yeah is it okay my answer <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> Okay, um, we have some, um, we have a lot of questions um, online. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> and um, so I'll um, start from the first one that came in at mm -hmm. 8.02 a.m., so very early. Yes, yes. Uh, what inf influence do you have around you that helps you come with new ideas? Thank you so much, good question. Uh, yes, um, I researched the many kind of uh, art world news of art world i should i think i should know uh, how to uh, moving art world and 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 i i sometimes i went to the climbing mountain or uh, sometimes i go my uh, mother town and visit greenhouse and spending uh, i need to spending time to get inspiration and I when I walking a mountain and when I uh, research uh, greenhouse and other place uh, I like the nature that I uh, I visit uh, yeah mountain and greenhouse at the forest yeah I think inspiration there Great, thank you. Thank you so um, another question is, out of all your pieces, which would be your favorite and why? It's difficult to answer, but uh, most I, my favorite, uh, every work I like, <laughs> but most I like uh, piece is this artwork. Uh, this is a uh, title, is Leto.bio, and at Okinawa uh, entrance, uh, hotel until Naha. Um, this is the first experiment, uh, the installation work, a big installation work. Yeah, and I want to try. Uh, I want to try more installa uh, installation work and uh, create the new 
space. <laughs> yes. Thank you. So I think this is a good segue to the next question from um, Raquel Nakamura-san. Um, Yamato-san, you, you are an amazing artist. On the series Connecting the Dots, how long did it take for you to make your first, um, mark, uh, the first of the, these series? You said your inspiration is connecting to nature. Would you consider continuing the series with connecting with people? Uh, yeah, it is so, uh, I need so long time. And when I was a student, university, MA, and two years, I, uh, 1.5 years I thinking, and many trial artwork, a shooting photo, and a painting, painting another uh, material, and um, another motif, and try to, many, many, uh, many try, I, uh, 1.5 years later, and just I, I uh, inspiration, uh, I find the motif the most, and I, I think, uh, then I think, uh, it, it is, uh, maybe most, uh, minimal, minimal motif of, uh, of me, uh, I want to explain, and, yeah, it needs a long time and many trial. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Do you think you're going to be continuing this series? I know. Red Dot no series wa kezok suru desu ka? Ah, yes. Yes, of course. I want. Uh, this series is. Hidaka san, sorry, sorry. Just in Japanese, can I say? Kono kono series wa eto. あ、書かない、書けば新しいこう世界が見えてくるので、その時の私の a series that I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life, I think. Um, the depending on the condition that I am in, um, the red dot series will create a new kind of um, uh, visualization and therefore um, I would like to continue this. Thank you so much. Um, in, in Nakamura-san's question, um, she says that um, in the series, the red dots mm -hmm. um, means um, to her, it means connecting, uh, doing the red dots is conne connecting people through the red dots. Do you think that is so? Uh, yes, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, I. Yeah, I think so too. And my uh, first motif is the plant of moss, but uh, I want to explain uh, many kind of story, like, uh, like uh, for example, relationship, people and people. And uh, um, yeah, so many kind of story I want to uh, explain and I want to image, image <laughs> to viewer. Thank you. Uh, what you're doing with your clay bells in the trees clay is uh, similar to other two other famous contemporary artists. Mm -hmm. uh, Boltansky, do you know who oh, Boltansky is? Yeah, yeah. of course. Boltansky, many. Yes, in uh, Naoshima, in Teishima, yes, he did the bell installation in the forest. Yes, yes. And also the English sculptor Anthony Gormley. Anthony Gormley. Anthony Gormley. He did uh, projects around the world uh, filling up galleries with clay figures, human clay figures, yes. and getting the community to help him make them. We did that in Tokyo. Even Mrs. Mori was making clay figures. For, and uh, so I would like to talk to you about uh, doing a huge bell installation with community involvement, making the bells. Wow. <laughs> in, uh, we have a space in the Shinto Shrine in Shibuya. Shibuya? Yeah, mm -hmm. Konohachiman Jinja is where our art foundation space is. Oh, yeah. And so I would love to talk to you about doing a huge uh, wow. bell installation great. Bell. Wow, great. with uh, community Thank involvement you. where yes. people are tying the bells throughout the Jinja wow. and all the trees and wow, maybe great. make one big bell yeah. where you go to pray. Mm -hmm. Usually, historically, you have a bell where you go to mm -hmm. pray with a rope. Mm 
Mm -hmm. So let's please keep in touch. I, yes. I like what you're doing. Of course, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, it's so great. <laughs> yeah, so exciting. Thank you so much. Please keep in touch to me. Since we have some time, I'd like to ask, uh, thank you so much. can you explain in more detail the, the title? It's like Table. breathing. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is, is that um, a translation from the Japanese? Or is it originally in, in English, it's like breathing? And what is the it's? What ah. does the it refer to? <laughs> Thank you so much. Good question. Uh, this theme I th I said before Kasawabi, and uh, I explain uh, this uh, what is mean uh, this theme. Ah, it was originally Japanese. Oh, oh really? And, but, ah, yes. Kokuyosuruyoni. Ah, Yes. Yes, this word, uh, it is like blessing in present, present my teacher when I was a student. Uh, at that time, I could not decide about my career and my life. And I remember this word I, when I difficult to choose. I think this word means to believe that own possibility. Yeah. Uh, how can I do? Um, when uh, I feel worries, deep breath, and think that can I do like blessing, like a blessing. Um, yes, this is uh, best of to choose something, and this means uh, uh, decide to like blessing. It is uh, um, believe to my or you or everyone's possibility. It is a. I think this is the best way to choice. Yeah. Uh, is it okay, my answer? Well, okay, no. So I, I understand your explanation, but yes. In English. In English. Okay. It's. Yes. Refers to something. So what, what is the it? Oh, what is, so, so, yeah, abstract. In Japanese, there's no it. Yes. Like when, in the translate. But so the, what does it refer to? What is, is it is? Are you a artwork for creation? Ah, it's a... Mm-hmm. So it's a way. Ah. Ah. Mm-hmm. 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 So it's a way. あ、クリエーション、マイアートワーク。作品を想像することが、はい、作品を想像することが、呼吸をするように作品を、あ、そうです。呼吸をするように、こう作品を想像し作っていくということです。はい、ありがとうございます。Thank you so much. Um, any other questions from the floor? There's another question actually from um, uh, online, and um, it's about the pandemic. Um, has the pandemic affect you? Uh, pandemic, あの、コロナについてなんですけども、このコロナ禍の中で作品に影響、ま、みよさんにつ、みよさん自体があの、影響されたことってありますか? Uh, yes. mm -hmm. Hi, uh, of course, uh, thank you so much for the question. Of course, a uh, pandemic affect to me. Uh, I was hurt mentally and economic uh, like many other around the world like many others around the world uh, i was told me what can i do as an artist and i spent much time of quantity period in my studio and many new works were created at that time and one series uh, is breath. Breath series is uh, inspiration of the pandemic. Yes. It is a trace I 
Uh, it is a piece I call Trace of Breast. I talked at the speech before, and it is painting with my face quite close to the canvas like this. And it is a physical relationship with between me and a uh, material canvas and the pigment. When I finish uh, artwork, uh, my face is changes red with many splitting of the paint. And this is opportunity has me, me uh, thinking about uh, physically. I have recently have become interested in performance and as well. And yes, and it is important opportunity to experience pandemic to me too. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Mio san. Thank you again. And we hope so uh, uh, you have big success in your next uh, coming exhibitions. So please uh, give her a big hand. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.